All right, good morning, everybody. Today is uh, November 5th, 2022, Saturday morning. I'm in North Flushing right now. I will be driving to uh, Kew Gardens locally um, on uh, I still have to figure out which road, which street I'm driving on. Uh, so I haven't decided yet. So right now I'm at the intersection of uh, Parsons Boulevard and Northern Boulevard. I am going to make a right turn on Northern Boulevard and get on Vanwick. So you see at this intersection, the Shell gas station. Uh, this is a very popular, it's a popular corner for contractors to pick up, uh, to pick up construction workers. You see that, I'm not sure if you can see it because there's a there's sun in the right in front of me. But there are people that sit out on the, you know, at the Shell gas station and uh, they're just standing around looking for work. Contractors in the morning, you know, usually come by here, pick up a few workers, you know, and then uh, drive them to construction sites. So some of the work, you know, maybe just, you know, hard labor work. Like, uh, you know, you know, brick work, or, uh, you know, things to lift around, or things to pick up and transport. You know, things that require manpower. You know, where contractors don't want to, uh, you know, don't want to use their energy on. They'll just hire these people for a day. Or numerous days and then uh, drive them to the construction sites so right now I'm heading um, this is Northern Boulevard heading west I'm gonna get on the Van Wick Expressway so to the left are more new condos that just built to the right are co-ops and then YMC is at the corner over here on Bound and, uh, and uh, Northern Boulevard So to the right is Flushing High School. Uh, I think it was built over a hundred years ago. It was one of the more prestigious high school in Queens because it used to be, you know, the only high school, along with Jamaica High School. So the campus is pretty nice. There are multiple buildings at the high school. So to the right over here, another new building, another new condo that's going up. There used to be a supermarket here and then they tore it down. And then right on the right is the Flushing Town Hall. So over here, this area used to be uh, you know, old Flushing. You know, where all the business are. You know, you're talking about, you know, a hundred years ago. So the town hall's here, the police department's here, churches are here, everything you need, you know, to create a small town. So right now I'm at the intersection of Prince Street and Northern Boulevard. I'm going on, uh, you know, up the ramp to uh, Van Rick Expressway South. Probably gonna get off at Jewel Avenue and cut through Forest Hills to get to Kew Gardens.
expressway. To the right is the concrete factory. And the front is Manhattan skyline. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. Been to that park once because it's very difficult to find parking.
Avenue. Um, west, I'm heading west right now. Wow, it's a nice, beautiful sky today. Left lane must turn left, so I'm not gonna make a left turn here. I don't want to get onto the Grand Central Parkway service road. So what I'll do, I'll just go straight down to uh, 108 and then make a left. So this is Forest Hills. Uh, very sought after neighborhood in New York City to live because there's a great school district. The houses are pretty decent. It's very convenient to, uh, you know, to public transportation half an hour to uh, Manhattan and um, lots of big houses <laughs> if you see take a look to the right every small house that get knocked down they build new ones well large ones Forest Hills is predominantly uh, Jewish with a mix of uh, you know Asian and um, and other races. Street, which will turn into a uh, Continental Avenue if I cross uh, Queens Boulevard. So all of these buildings here is a mix of co-ops, condos, apartments, uh, mostly co-ops. And uh, very expensive co-ops because it's three blocks away from the subway station. And also a few blocks away from the Long Island Railroad. So right here, this intersection is the transportation hub. 71st Avenue. Movie theaters here. Professional buildings in the front. Lots of banks over here. Things has changed a lot over here. A lot of the stores are, are gone. So there's a five below here now. Huh. I've gotta get bagels still here. Oh, five below. This place used to be Target. So right now I'm at the intersection of Austin Street. I am just gonna go straight down until I hit Union Turnpike, hopefully. 71st Avenue, so right above is the Forest Hills uh, Long Island Railroad Station. So you see that, you know, it's the same thing as Main Street Flushing. You have the Long Island Railroad, and then two blocks away is the train station. So right now I'm heading, the, heading into um, into the private streets of Forest Hills. You see how it's um, it's very different <laughs> due to uh, you know historic landmarks in this area. You know they try to preserve the facade of the of the of the buildings. So only residents in this area could park here. You need special parking permits to park on these streets. So right now this is Station Square, Burn Street. Even even the bricks are different over here. All right, Forest Hills Gardens. So 
another very sought after area to live in. Very costly. You see how um, the streets are different, they're much cleaner. that you know if you drive straight down for uh, the street or the you no know, if you straight down drive down you know, continental avenue all the streets are named in alphabet order so it starts with b c d e f now we're up to f so this is fleet, fleet street and then g which is next block is probably uh it's like groton street See, there's a photographer over here. <laughs> All right. Forest Hills Gardens. So, G, we're at Groton Street. And this just ended the historic area. You see that there's two walls over here. Now we're at Harold Street. But it's no longer part of uh, part of uh, Forest Hill Gardens anymore. So right now, these are these are public streets now. So yeah, as you guessed, you know, a lot of people would find parking over here and then um, hop onto Long Island Railroad to commute to work. And that's also one of the reasons why it's all you know private parking over there. They want they just don't want commuters to be parking in the neighborhood. So this is Harrow Street, and then the next one is Ingram, which begins with the letter I, and then the next one should be J. Uh, let's see what it is. Juno Street. And then at the letter K, Kessel Street. Street, speed camera on the right. <laughs> so, gotta go very slow here. Man Street, and then the next one should be N, which is Nansen. Nansen Street. was in the back. So this is Metropolitan Avenue, 71st Avenue. Another interesting, well, major intersection. Because Metropolitan Avenue is a pretty busy, uh, pretty busy avenue. Look at this, this is kind of funny. This is a sign in New York City, that yellow sign for horses.
Alright, so I hit a dead end, which is uh, Union Turnpike. So right in the front is uh, the entrance of Forest Park. One of the one of the entrances here. It's a pretty pretty huge park which they're trying to develop, or to get more people to go to. But it's just the lack of transportation in this area. Yeah. soon if you like this video please like subscribe comment below and I will see you in the next video Hopefully the local streets and then come back out.